University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends Tuesday, September the 27th. And uh, we're going to talk about the Center for Urban Agriculture today and also Missouri Cures. Let's start, first of all, with Billy Polanski. Welcome back to Radio Friends, Billy. Hey, Paul. Center for Urban Agriculture is having a Harvest Hoot Nanny. What is that? Our Harvest Hoot Nanny is our annual uh, harvest celebration and fundraiser at our urban farm here in okay. Columbia. Well, we'll talk more about the hoot nanny, but uh, explain first of all what the Center for Urban Agriculture is, what you do, how many people are involved in it. Uh, we're an educational non-for-profit, and uh, we teach people how to garden. Um, urban agriculture takes many forms, and um, the most common form is just a garden in your backyard, uh, mm -hmm. uh, growing food for yourself. We've got many programs where uh, people can come out to our farm, and uh, so where is your farm? It's um, it's at the corner of Smith and Fay Street in okay, Columbia. Okay, so it's in town. It's in town. You, you, you say you're farm, but it is in town, and how much how much land is there? It's about an acre and a half. Okay, and people can come out. Can they participate there? Yep, they can uh, volunteer in the garden, um, just get comfortable in the garden. A garden can be intimidating. So mm -hmm. just to come out and, you know, get comfortable with the plants, and this is how you treat them, and, you know. So what all did you have growing this summer? Oh, Tomatoes, peppers, squash, everything. It was, and then and then the people that are volunteering there and growing those vegetables. Do they get to take some of the vegetables home with them? Volunteers do take some stuff home, but uh, we also uh, sell a, a good chunk of it uh, to some restaurants and at some farmers markets. Yeah, that's nice. So how'd the garden do this year? We did well. We did well despite the heat. We had some pretty high water bills, but uh, <laughs> yes, I you know. know um, you know all. All that being said, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. No, as long as you put your heart and soul in. Sometimes you feel like you're beating your head up against the wall <laughs> when you're when you're dealing with Mother Nature because she doesn't want to cooperate That's right. all the time for the. I know right. when we had that heat uh, in in July, the tomatoes kind of took a hit. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad for tomatoes. It's been a bad year for tomatoes. Yeah, but. and and my peppers also. But you know what? Do you still have your tomatoes in? They do. They're yeah. not. They're mine, still are, mine are, it seemed like they're, they've turned around now. If we mm -hmm. can hold off without a frost, yeah. we'll have a, some this, nice fall tomatoes. This weather's real nice. So you've got the Harvest Hoot Nanny. It is when again? It's uh, this Saturday, October mm -hmm. 1st, uh, from 4 to 7 p.m. So what's going to happen at the Harvest Hoot Nanny? Well, it's going to be at the Urban Farm. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be live music. Uh, we'll be cooking food, barbecuing. Um, some stuff from our farm mm -hmm. and from some other local farmers will have food there. Um, uh, MU Center for Agroforestry will be roasting chestnuts. Um, there we'll have games. Uh, we'll be showing people around the garden, and um, it'll just be uh, a real fun yeah. time. Okay, so it's kind of like an old-fashioned how it was in the old days after you did the harvest. You get together with family and friends and mm -hmm. celebrate. Yeah, we we just want everyone to come out and. Uh, Celebrate the harvest, and it's free of charge. It's free. It's a it's a fundraiser, so we're uh, we're asking for a suggested donation. Okay, but um, if you can't afford it, we still want you to come. Okay, uh, we're also going to have a silent auction and a live auction. Okay, how much money are you hoping you'll raise? Um, we're hoping for about uh, eight thousand dollars to raise. Best of luck to you. And if they want more information, is your phone number to call? Mm hmm Five one four four one seven four. Or you can check our website at columbiaurbanag.org. All right, Billy Polanski, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Paul. Good luck to you. Now we turn to Margaret Tolleton, Missouri Cures. A pleasure to have you back with us again. Thank you. Paul. And you're here because you're excited. You've got a speaker. Uh, coming. We do. You could be in St. Louis. So. We do, and um, we are pleased to host a world-renowned diabetes researcher for a special event in St. Louis this Thursday. Um, it's at 6 o'clock at the Ritz-Carlton in St. Louis. We are also asking for a um, suggested donation. Um, 
this person is from Italy, didn't you? Haven't I heard you oh, say that yeah. you're from Italy? Yeah. Um, and he is Dr. Camillo Ricordi. Um, I've been told that he was knighted in Italy hmm. um, because of his research. So I'm real anxious to meet this gentleman. So he is talking about new research in, with diabetes. Yes. Now, how is this fitting into the Missouri Cures? Well, Missouri Cures is a nonprofit organization, and we really are focusing on educating um, Missourians, mm -hmm. especially, and we try to bring in experts from around the world, if not the nation, um, to speak about their um, specific expertise. We also support stem cell research, and so that encompasses so many different conditions and um, diseases and ailments. Diabetes is just it's one, one of them. Of them. Yeah. So last spring we hosted um, Dr. John McDonald and his specialty was spinal cord injury. Mm -hmm. Now this fall we are hosting Dr. Camillo Ricordi, his specialty is diabetes. Um, the first week in October we plan to attend the World Stem Cell Summit and hopefully I'll get to meet even more researchers that, that deal with even stem, more yeah. and hopefully recruit more to come to Missouri to speak to Missourians about their specialty. Okay, if people want to attend uh, this conference, you, are you calling it a conference? No, it's actually just a special a sp presentation. Okay, if they um, want to attend this special presentation, what should they do? They can go to our website, www.missouricures.com, or they can also call the St. Louis office at 314, um, Nine nine, where is it? Nine nine three, nineteen hundred. Okay, give it to um, him again. Three one four. Three one four, nine nine three, nineteen hundred. Okay, and I wanted to mention uh, you're all decked out in some special jewelry today because this is another fundraiser of Missouri Cures, right? That's true, and it's brand new. Hopefully by this Thursday, we hope to have it on the website. Okay. Um, we have necklaces and bracelets that say Advanced Cures Protect Hope, which is our tagline. Okay. Um, and the colors, uh, green and blue. Yeah, if you um, want to see it, go to kbia.org, click on Radio Friends and to the vodcast, and you can see the jewelry we're talking about. And if people want to go to your website, what is it again, Margaret? www.missouricures.com. Okay, all right. And of course, there's, there's always news and advancements with this and we'll try to keep you posted. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, Paul. Is there a deadline for signing up for or to, to going to this, uh, this speech? Um, if they don't have time, you know, since this, it's only two days away. Can they just go? They can come. And just it, it get in at It would be helpful with a head count, you know, as far as, um, you know, what to expect. Right. So a phone call would be helpful. But okay. if they can't get to a phone or just come to the Ritz car. Right. Thank you very much. Pleasure having you here, Margaret Colleton. Tomorrow on our show, we've got some music from CEC, the production of Dracula. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Kyle Felling, still filling in for Pat Akers. Our floor director is Austin Fack. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. To watch this program again or listen to it, kbia.org, click on Radio Friends. And like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Bye-bye.